Hello everyone, um, Ace Hunter here, and today I present to you uh, my first game of uh, LPL9, so Levy's Premier League uh, 9th edition. Um, I am playing for, uh, since this is a team tournament, I'm playing for the Joel TikToks, and um, I'm actually playing uh, SMLC, so it's, one, so it's my favorite LC tier, and uh, I'm really stoked to be able to play it finally after uh, uh, after quite a few tournaments of wanting to play it. So. So here we are. So during the fr this first week, I play against uh, Ninja Dog, who is um, one of the S SCL um, current SCL players and obviously very uh, very good player. And uh, I built this team. So uh, this is basically a team uh, uh, two birds, so bird spam, um, coupled with a Ponita to break to um, help break through um, rock types. Uh, and uh, a Marini and a Kabuto. A Kabuto to remove uh, hazards with rapid spin while also being able to uh, set up stealth rock. So um, this is basically the, the gist of the team. And um, yeah, so on the on Ninja Doc side, uh, I actually see uh, there is no uh, no real uh, there's no um, flying resist. So that that was a really good thing to see. So I kind of like my matchup here. Um, he he brought a Torchic, which is usually good against more more offensive teams. But I have a Marini, so that should keep that in check pretty well. And he doesn't have a Trapper to trap the Marini, so that's even better. Um, one thing that would be uh, that's kind of threatening is the Mudbray, since I don't really have a good switch into it, uh, and it's going to be hard to break through. And um, also perhaps the the Carvana. So yeah, off of lead here, this looks, uh, it's very possible, I was thinking about uh, Ninja Dog might lead either Dwebble or Mudbray. Um, Dwebble, if it leads, uh, if it leads, it's going to be um, uh, uh, hazard stacking Dwebble, so with uh, both Stealth Rock and Spikes. So I decided to to go um, to go for go Ponyta straight away on the lead, and I do catch the Dwebble. So if he had led Mudbray, um, I could have just Wisped it or something, uh, or gone to one of my birds. But he went to double, so that that pretty much guarantees this is a spike stack, and uh, me being able to burn this double will be really good because I didn't have Kabuto to be able to spin away the all the hazards that double will have set, and because double is burnt, it's not going to be able to do much damage to the Kabuto uh, in return. So that was my train of thought. Unfortunately, I missed my first Willow Wisp, um, but I hit hit the second one though uh, while uh, he goes for a knockoff, so I could have just. Not gotten this knocked off, um, but it's all right. The the Ponyta's defensive utility isn't that great on this team. Um, of course, it can check it can um, check Torchic, but I all, but it can still check Torchic without its Violite, and I still have Marini, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, so now I decide to go to my Spinner, my Kabuto. Um, so and then Kabuto gets knocked, gets the weak armor boost. Um, and I decided to go for rapid spin right away to get um, to give the dweeb double the special uh, the defense drop so that um, my waterfall is going to kill. So now his un unfortunately for a ninja dog he only gets two hits uh, with rock blast. I think he Kabuto might have been able to live like one or two more hits at least one. So I wasn't too worried there. But now uh, the fact that he used Rock Blast on me means, means that I have plus I'm at plus four uh, plus six speed actually max speed, so I can just easily outspeed his weak armor uh, Dwebble, and then just one hit KO it with Waterfall. So that's a really good start for me because um, his hazards his hazard user is gone. Meanwhile, I have mine and I can just set up rocks without um, uh, without worrying about hazards on my side anymore. Um. After the game, he thought um, Ninja Dog said that he um, actually didn't consider Waterfall. He thought I only had Aqua Jet, which would probably not kill. So that's what he was going for there. Unfortunately, I had Aqua Jet, so it didn't work out for him. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't. I had Waterfall, so I could just kill the Dwebble. Uh, so he goes Volibee here, which is interesting because usually um, Volibee doesn't like coming in on Rock types, uh, and Kabuto is actually my Volibee uh, resist here. Um, so that was interesting. So maybe I was thinking maybe it has hidden power grass. Um, so I, I just go for rocks, and indeed it, that was that's what it had, uh, probably hidden power grass. Uh, and now uh, now I went for dojiro. Um, I believe uh, my dojiro is actually life orb dojiro with hidden power grass, which is really cool set to be able to lure and kill Onyx. Um, 
Actually, I want to see um, how much does Doe Duo. Uh, I think I was Life Orb. Life Orb against the uh, Bullaby. Uh, yeah, so Brave Bird, if it's 23. Brave Bird, if it's a normal Bullaby, Brave Bird has a 50% chance to kill. And even if it's not a uh, normal Volaby, it's like uh, if it uh, has less defense, then it's almost a guaranteed kill. So I think I just went for the I just went for the roll here. Um, did I? Oh no, I think I went for the sub just to be checked the uh, just to be able to scout the switch because maybe um, if I go Dojuo here into the Volaby, normal normal Dojuo doesn't kill this. He doesn't know I'm Life Orb. So he might be worried about a Z here coming in from because that would be the only like real reason I would go for Dojo here if that if the Dojo would be able, actually be able to kill the Volibee. So he was scared of that. He went for Torchic, uh, and I scouted it with uh, Substitute. So uh, Torchic went for uh, a Speed Boost with Protect, but now I'm really comfortable behind the Substitute to be able to check it. He he goes for a Substitute as well to scout. And um, I'm actually um, Life Orb, so he sees I'm Life Orb. Um, and he decides to just go for the attack to break the substitute. Now, um, my my set on Do Dojuo is actually... Um, is actually uh, Brave Bird, Jump Kick, Substitute, and uh, Hitter Power Grass. So I actually didn't have Quick Attack. But he thought I was probably Quick Attack because I'm Life Orb. So um, he did not go for more substitutes uh, to drain my Dojo's HP. So that's why um, he just went to break the sub here. Um, and then now Staryu comes in. Staryu outspeed the Dojo, outspeeds the Dojo, um, and just threatens to kill it. And I can't outspeed it. But this is kind of the point of my team. So my point, uh, the team is um, uh, has only Diglett as a speed control, and the idea is to lure in Staryu to check. Uh, to check one of Ponyta or Dojuo, and then remove it with um, with the Z uh, Groundium Z Earthquake. Um, usually, there are a lot of a uh, lot of Staryus are um, are uh, have a Z Crystals on them, so um, a Z Earthquake would just kill them from full. Um, I thought this Staryu was Z because it, it had uh, it took uh, two HP from rocks, and it was a 90 percent instead of ninety one. So I knew that it was 20 HP and not 19. Um, so it wasn't the usual. Um, so it wasn't like the usual um, 14 defense star. You. Um, I thought it was Z, so I just went for the Groundium for, for the Z uh, Z Earthquake, and it actually kills. So um, so I can remove the star you, and now with star you gone, he has a much less way of uh, threatening my Volibi and my Ponyta. Um, because Staryu could could threaten, threaten these out before, as, as well as Marini. So that was really good for me. Um, so now uh, Ninja Dog goes for the Volibee. Now this Diglett is also Screech for um, for opposing Spritzies to be able to remove it because my team uh, actually relies on like uh, breaking through, um, just hitting as hard as possible, and Spritzy kind of stops that because it's just so bulky. So Screech Screech is useful um, to um, Breakthrough Spritzy with the Z. And now I go for a sub just to scout it and actually manage to block a supersonic sky strike. So this being Z actually reveals that the Star U wasn't actually Z Star U. It was actually just um uh Evalite Star U with with um Hidden Power Fire because only Hidden Power Fire um makes uh Star U force run 20 HP um and less defense. So what what actually happened that it was that the star U was actually a Valite, but because of the rocks damage, um, let me see. So it was Diglett, an offensive trapper with ground with the Z earthquake against Star U. So see the usual, usual, um, usually Star U will be able to live this. So after rocks, however, because it was uh, 20 HP, uh, it had 36, and uh, it was actually 12. Special uh, 12 defense. It actually has uh, almost a guaranteed uh, chance to kill after stealth rock. So I, I got lucky there. Um, me thinking it was Z, but it actually wasn't. But it killed anyways. So that was really good uh, for me. And now I managed to scout the Flyium Z from uh, the Volibee. 
Um, I understand his play, like he, his, uh, he wanted to probably uh, kill this Diglett without taking recoil, and the Z really sleep wasn't that useful anyways, it could also catch a switch, so uh, especially to my own Villaby, so that's why I can understand he went for it. But then this makes it um, reveal his item, and then now he's also, he's, I managed to get a Screech off, and then he managed to, um, to kill my Diglett, but then because it's at minus 2 defense, um, my Ponyta can just uh, kill this with Flame Charge. This Ponyta is actually defensive with Flame Charge and Flare Blitz. So, uh, it's really good against the rest of what Ninja Dog has. Um, so I could have gone for the Flame Charge right here. Um, but I wasn't, I didn't, I wanted to cover a uh, Mudbray coming in and getting a stamina boost from it. So I just went for, um, for a Will O Wisp since, um, even if he stays in, I can just Flame Charge the next turn. It's no, not, not a big deal. So he goes for Mudbray and I catch him with the Will O Wisp. And now even now even if this Mudbray is Scarf, I'm, I'm not too worried about it because it's burned. Um, so uh, I go to Volibi here. He actually reveals Facade, which is which is really uh, uncommon move I'd say, um, just to cover uh, in case Mudbray gets burnt I guess. Um, and that's actually that was actually kind of scary because it, it did actually sixty percent of Volibi's health. Uh, thankfully, 60% um, times 1.5 is actually 90, so I so mathematically I should live this unless uh, well we don't we all know that little cup rolls aren't very reliable, but usually I should be able to live that, which I actually do. So I managed to knock off this choice scarf, and I actually live the other fake out, uh, facade with uh, 10 10 percent to spare. So I can just kill this mudbray with hidden power grass. And then I have a really fat, uh, really fast Volibi here against this Carvana and his Volibi. So now I have a few options. Um, this is very, already very favored for me um, because the Marini can just stop the Carvana. Um, however, uh, to put the chances on my side, I had to I have to play the most optimally as possible because um, my Marini. Um, my Marini is actually, uh, let me see, Impish, uh, it's actually bold um, against Carvana. So Sludge Bomb only does 13 to 15, so it's only, um, I believe, 60, 68% to like 81. So the, my, the min roll is actually 68, 69. So um, it doesn't actually kill this Carvana from full, so. I had to avoid the Carvana be able to like two hit KO my Marini and then just kill the po kill the Ponyta after. So I needed to get some chip on the Carvana to be able to kill it. Um, so my my thought process here was go um, go Heat Wave, go for a Heat Wave, and if Heat Wave kills, then I the Volibee outspeeds the Carvana and I win. And if it doesn't kill, I can go for a Flame Charge with Ponyta and then Ponyta outspeeds Carvana and and I win. Because I can just burn it or flare blitz it, and then a uh, sludge bomb would just kill. Um, unfortunately, the worst scenario happened for me. So I, I went for a heat wave that actually left Volibee at one HP, and it got burnt. So um, actually, it, t it turns out I don't think it mattered because he went he went for a brave bird to kill it anyway. So maybe I could have done something else. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe HP grass, but it's okay. Uh, so that means I didn't. Uh, that was a good play from his, his part, anyways. That means I couldn't get a flame charge on the Volibi. So now, um, now I know that um, my Sludge Bomb does not kill. Of course, there's a, there's a chance that um, there's a chance to have, of me poisoning. In which case, I can probably stall it out by switching. Um, but I wanted to uh, put my chance, put chances on my side, and go for um, uh, Ponyta on on the Psychic Fangs. So. So by the, fir the first thing by doing that is I, I can fish for a flame body burn um, on the Scythanks, in which case it just win because it's, he just can't break through Marini anymore. Or uh, if it doesn't even if it doesn't get burned, it gets chipped by Life Orb Recoil, uh, which which might eventually put it in the range of Marini. So that's what I went for. I went for Ponyta here. Uh, Scythanks unfortunately did not burn. Um, so the number like twice in a row. So I just got some chip uh, onto this Carvana. Um, now the Carvana is at seventy nine percent. 
So I have a few options here. So I can just go for a sludge bomb here. Sludge bomb, sludge bomb on when Car Carvana is at 79. Uh, let me see. So it should be 79. It's actually 15. So uh, without Stealth Rock, Sludge Bomb has a 62.5% chance to kill. And even if it doesn't kill, it has a 30% chance of poisoning. So it's very likely for for him to um, for for Sludge Bomb to kill here. But I wanted to put the most the chances more chances on my side so I decided to go for um, a recover here because if I get one more chip of life orb then I can sludge bomb and it it's gonna kill with the life orb recoil um, at, the, at the same time uh, Carvana's psychic fangs will only do 16 and uh, I am I believe I am I think I am uh, yeah 16. I'm at 23 HP. Um, I with recover 23. Uh, wait, was that was that 23 or 24? Give me a second. Uh, okay, so I was 24 HP with uh, max defense. So if I recover, I recover uh, 12 HP. So I am at 24 plus 12. It's gonna be 36. Whereas tw two times 16 from psychic defense with the 32. So theoretically, if he, I, if I don't get crit. I should be able to recover for one turn, and then uh, Sludge Bomb will be guaranteed to kill. So that's exactly what I did. So I went for Psy uh, Psyche Fang, he went for Psyche Fangs, I go for Recover here, and then with the chip, with the double uh, Life Orb chip, he's in range of the Sludge Bomb. So he went for Waterfall Flinch, but he didn't get it, uh, and then I Sludge Bomb just killed. So if he had gotten the Waterfall, um, actually, uh, Waterfall Fall Flinch, which is only 20%, I think he would have won there, but... Uh, I didn't actually consider that, so in, this, in, the, in retrospect, maybe it was possible to just Sludge Bomb was the better play, but... Either way, uh, my sludge bomb, sludge bomb killed, and I got the victory there. So, that was a... Um, I think I had a... I think I had a... My team, I really like my team, and um, I got a good matchup for it, I think, and uh, I got the win. So that was week one, and uh, stay tuned for the following weeks, uh, hopefully some more SM uh, on the way. Um, sorry if I'm... Uh, I'm recording this a little um, late um, because my I usually record it live, but my recording messed up. So I'm gonna cover this one uh, with post commentary, and the next ones should be live commentary. So yep, yeah, stay tuned for that.